I remember walking to the train station, I don't, I've never told anyone this, and I was honestly thinking, like, if I jump now, like, it'd be less pain than I'm, than, than I'm feeling now. There were some really dark times where I thought, actually, I, I don't want to be here anymore. I'm a failure, I'm a loser. I felt like I've failed my dad. At that point, I didn't want to live anymore. I just sat in a dark room for two years of my life, just crying myself to sleep every night. Psych like psychologically, like I just I weren't ready for it. I, I couldn't deal with it. I was too young. The feeling of having having let everyone down who had helped me um, and believed in me was was horrendous. I signed a four-year contract when I was 12. I was signed at 13. I joined the club at the age of six, officially signed at the age of eight. And after nearly 10 years at the club, I uh, came home from school one day to a letter to, uh, to inform me that I'd been released. Gaffers pulled me in and just said, we're not giving you a new deal. And I was like, OK. And that was the last thing I heard from the club. And all of a sudden, I was gone. I was never contacted from the day I walked out the door. I mean, to hear that at 14 is crazy. I mean, the next day at school, I, I, did, I didn't want to get out of bed. I said to my mum and dad at the time, I don't want to go in, I'm embarrassed. I spent, what, uh, 12 years at that football club growing up. That's all I knew. I was in my room probably, probably for about a week. Didn't want to speak to no one. Didn't want to answer my phone to anybody because I felt like I let my close people down. I um, went into depression for the first time. Just stayed in my room, couldn't leave, couldn't leave the bedroom at all. I was promised that they would help me find a new football club. Um, I didn't hear back from them again. I, I haven't heard anything at all. I felt like I was on my own. But then I realised there's so many people like us in the same same boat. If, if nothing else in this life you can relate to someone with, it's pain. And we are looked at as a number. And as soon as that number expires, you're just thrown on the, on the heap, you know, on the heap. 